think the biggest question we have been asked is why on earth are we doing this? Why are we putting money into a football club? Why are we getting involved? Like, what, what are we thinking? We've been involved for three weeks now. I'm heading down from Cobham area where I live uh, towards Lord's Wandsworth College where the guys are training. Tonight is not the news I wanted to you know, meet the players with. Right, listen in here because it's quite hard for me to tell you all this. So I've got to basically give you some news. Um, but I've got a lot of exciting things to tell them at the same time. We're filming everything about our journey, about what Farnham Town Football Club is going to be about this season. Behind the scenes on the football side, behind the scenes on the marketing, media and business side. The ultimate goal for us is go through the leagues, get promoted and, um, and take Farnham to the next level. So I mean, obviously everyone says the easiest way to, to lose money is to get involved in a football club and that's probably true but there's a lot of legacy as well that we're interested in building. It's about how can we build a better business in non-league. It's not about pumping money into the playing staff, hoping that we win in the first year, uh, and if we don't in the second, then it's a disaster. This is about building long-term sustainability at a non-league football club through digitalization, through a clever commercial model. Ultimately, we're also here to win trophies and uh, succeed on the football pitch. Excited to meet all the players for the first time. Um, so I've been told that I'm not required to tell them the bad news tonight which is really good news. Paul, the chairman, is going to do that bit and then slide to me in order to talk about the exciting next few months and years that we're, uh, that we're going to be involved in the club. So that's positive because um, I was dreading tonight, if I'm honest. Right, listen in here because it's quite hard for me to tell you all this. It, um, it's been quite a hard week or two behind the scenes at the club um, because I've got a basically give you some news. What's basically happened is that unfortunately, we as a club are not and haven't been entered into the FA Cup, the FA Vars or the FA Youth Cup. Okay, so that's the shock fact of it. What we're gonna try and do now is flip all that and make sure you can understand the far bigger picture with what's going on at Farnham at this moment in time. Harry and a few other guys have got involved. There's a lot that Harry can explain to you all far easier and quicker than what I can. Um, for, for us, obviously, as we're four guys walking into the club, doing everything we, try, we can possibly do to try and help. We care passionately about moving non-league football forward. We know it's stuck in the past. We care deeply about data, analytics. We care about video, we care about content, we care about making people care about the football, um, but also the club, the the grounds, the clubhouse, you know, all these things that make a difference to the overall experience from a fan point of view, but also a player point of view. Ultimately, I want to make Farnham a great place to come and play football, but also a great place to um, to come and watch football. But ultimately, we want to film everything and make it an accessible club. There's very, very few clubs that are opening the doors to the good, the bad and the ugly. And the reason we're filming this is because it's the truth. Um, it's a shit situation um, that, that Paul's obviously had to explain, but it's the truth and it's non-league and I think that you know people relate to those stories and how we get through it and go on the journey. When I started the business seven years ago, never thought I'd be in a position to do this, um, but I've now over 200 people in the business. Um, I've been able to have you know the ability to do these things that I really care about um, and we started vlogging um, video in our, our agency every day for 400 straight days. It was the best 400 days of my life because I can look back and see all the things that we did, we achieved. And I want to do the same in, in non-league football. So um, it's not about me, it's not about the boys who are taking over. It's all about you guys and the guys behind the scenes, the guys who made the club what it is right now. Um, and yeah, just really, really excited to be on the journey with you boys and hopefully help out. Why Farnham? Why Farnham? Um, I played for Farnham when I was eight till 14. Won a golden boot a couple of times. Uh, won a plate. <laughs> uh -huh. I think that went all right. Reaction was kind of as we thought, quite muted, but yeah, you know, one of those things. We've just got to see. Hopefully, the exciting things like compound everything else. Um, but I'm sure I'm going to have a few conversations now privately with some players, and that's it for the night. So yeah.
Okay, we're here on the uh, team bonding and volunteers day. It's Saturday, it's incredibly warm. Um, and uh, to be honest, it's about getting as many different things done in the club as we possibly can in pre-season uh, to get the ground ready. Um, but we have got a lot of other things going on uh, as well over the course of the next few months. So actually, we've got a digital scoreboard going in here above the, above the logo, Farnham logo, which will have a digital display for both home and away team and the time on the clock. We've got the old school fence and uh, boards around the outside all going in October. We've got new railings going in, claret and blue metal railings. It will look so much better here at Memorial Ground. We've got a brand new turnstile going in. So it's the second turnstile because we get huge uh, amount of congestion through the single turnstile. So we're doing another turnstile here to ease match day congestion. Got a new media gantry here, right in the middle of the pitch for uh, match highlights for YouTube, live streaming games uh, across the continent um, and making things happen from a media and social media point of view. This area behind me isn't looking good at the moment, so we need to fully redo this, make it safe, make it standable. Um, and actually, whilst we're here, we've, uh, we've got this stand, which was never that nice. It looked unfinished, but we've just finished this afternoon painting it, making it look a bit nicer, brand it up a bit, and make it usable space uh, for the rest of the season. This is class, isn't it? I love it. Oh, mate, you've done, this is excellent. Thanks. The, the fundamental issues are, we don't know who, who's in the ground. Correct. We don't know who's a member. Correct. We don't know if they are a member, if they're drinking or not, but we need to know. And we can't mark it, can't capture any data. We don't know anything about anybody that's in the ground. So the, the bridge is how can we get the digital ticket or the di digital pass to assign someone yeah. in here and in the turnstile to make sure we can draw a parallel for who they are, what they're doing, are they buying things, yeah. um, and how many times they're coming, all these different things. Are they a member, a season ticket holder, a match, yeah. a match ticket holder, all these different things. But we need to make it super simple because the average uh, non-league fan is not going to want to make it any harder than it yeah. should be. Right, quick bit of uh, social media stuff. We're doing photos of every single player, uh, both that we've retained and we've signed the season. Uh, that means new kit, which we're announcing today. New home strip, um, sponsored by the Farnham Food Bank. Lovely strip, it's number 20. Um, actually the only extra large shirt in the whole uh, in the whole squad, which says quite a lot about the, uh, the physique of the players this year. Looking good. Hello guys. Hello, hello. Right. Who's up first? I'll go first. You're first, yeah. Extra large or large? What are you trying to say? <laughs> I, I, I asked the question. I like how you slip it in. I've large. I've large. Snug fit. You know what I mean? Look good. Look good. Finger hugging. Yeah. <laughs> Finger hugging. Yeah. <laughs> I want to throw it, isn't it? Like, all the shots. Oh, I'll put it over the so jumper. Uh, take, take it off. Take it off. Get it off. Every, um, every month, we've got a player of the month competition. Yeah. Decided by the manager. Um, first 23s and 18s. Every winner gets 250 quid boot voucher. Yeah. Every month, so. 250 quid so boot went, voucher. Win it, win it so you month. can have like all the retro boots. So it's from a provider who does like all on the Instagram pages. It does like all the retro boots. Classics. Stuff. Yeah. So you can go and get like <laughs> like R9 Mondials from like 99. Decent. Like, 250 quid. Yeah, proper yeah. set of boots. Yeah, I'll play a bit better. Yeah, good idea. Jesus Christ. Oh, All down, he don't care. Oh. <laughs> Mate, they're taking a piss out of you. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, everything sounds really positive um, from sort of the stuff off the pitch, which we got ran through earlier on. Um, sounds like the club's definitely going in the right direction. It's my eighth season down here, and it's definitely the best shape the club's ever been in. So for me, really excited to, um, to sort of have another season. Obviously, Jimbo's first season with our men's team. So, what are your thoughts? I'm also liking the fact that we've got quite a young group. Yeah, the young group together is like you know, bringing us all together. I like the social aspect that we've got. And yeah, looking for the season, having a young squad like this, it's going to be very good. I think we've obviously had a few months and we or a few weeks and months sort of 
um, working on everything and, and it's sort of getting to that point now where the season's about to start so um, this is the reason we do it right for the games um, so yeah hopefully better performance in the second half but yeah really um, you know we've been down there quite a few times now and there's been no one here you just sort of can imagine what it's like on a match day and now it is match day so um, yeah exciting we're uh, happy this this is this is Tom Smith territory. I think you've got it's Tom to... Smith territory. Yeah. Right, Tom. <laughs> Film this. This could be. <laughs> 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 no limit. Come on, Tom. Come on, Tom. Yeah, it's a lot better. Great reaction from Saturday. I thought I was really disappointed Saturday. Not because I lost the game, although I don't like losing. It was more because I thought we just got outworked. And I've said right from the start to every single player, this is about hard work at this football club. And if you don't want to roll your sleeves up and work hard, you need to go and find somewhere else to play. And their reaction today, testament to it. We had 18 players outfield for the players there that really reacted well, positive against a really good side. There's no doubt about it. Bayes are going to be easily in the top six of that division this year, um, and it's important that we went out there and matched them because they're similar to how Bayes, uh, sorry, how Jersey Bulls play. So we've tried to uh, work on a formation and work on a pattern of play that can affect like it will against Jersey. You want to have positive results. You want to build that positive vibe around the team and in and around the squad. Um, but I think we're coming towards the end of pre-season now. We've only got one more game left on Saturday against. Standover, um, so it's important now that we are working into our game. And next, but it is seven days' time is our first league game, so we need to be hitting it in a positive frame of mind. Overall, good energy. Um, <laughs> balls moved well between players which probably don't know each other that well in the in, at the moment. Um, timing of goals were good, uh, which kept them in the game as a game. And uh, overall result was, I, I think, he'd be very happy with that. The first fixture being Jersey uh, is a massive fixture for the club. We want to try and fill the area, make sure people come down locally. Um, there's not another step five game in our kind of division which is close to us, so I'm hoping that a lot of people are going to come down. From a game point of view, um, I think Sean's got to do a lot of work, um, not hard work, but a lot of work to make sure he gets it right on Tuesday night. They're going to be obviously probably the favourites. Um, we look forward to playing Jersey, we always seem to have good fixtures against them um, and I just hope that we get the right result, start with the performance, if the result comes that's going to show where our statement will try and be at the start of the season. Um, if we don't and it doesn't go the, the best way, it'll show where we need to be because with Jersey they're going to be a top runner and hopefully we'll be able to compete with that and, and be in and around that with them. The stage is set for our season opener against Jersey Bulls on Tuesday night, 7.45pm kickoff. Come and watch for £8 on the door and support the boys. See you down there.